Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our first session of today's um, IACAC session. My name is Megan and I'm going to be the facilitator for today. And I'm joined by um, a lovely presenter here who will be talking about their specific institution. Uh, just a couple of reminders before we go ahead and get started. Today's session is being recorded. You will have access to the presentation and the recording of the recording of the session uh, a little bit after today's session, so probably about a week, and it will be located on the IACAC website. Uh, you are muted, therefore, and you, your video is not turned on. While you can hear and see us, we cannot hear and see you. Um, but know that if you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the Q and A at the bottom of the screen, and our presenter will be able to answer them. Lori, I will hand it off to you. Okay, great. Thank you, Megan. Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Lori Bregner and I'm a global recruitment officer with Duke Quinshawn University. And I'm especially excited to be presenting to all of you in Illinois as I am an Illinois native. I was born in Chicago and grew up in the Western suburbs. So I especially love um, bringing these international opportunities to students from Illinois. So before we begin and start talking about Duke Quinchon specifically, let's just take a moment to acknowledge that we are facing a critical inflection point in history. We know that there are so many critical current global challenges that we're facing right now, from the pandemic, from the environment and climate change, to the economy and politics, it's really necessary that the next generation of students is able to address and find solutions to these critical challenges. Enter Duke Quinshawn University. We built Duke Quinshawn University because we knew that global challenges require a global education. So studying another country for college can help you become a more engaged global citizen, can help you um, gain a greater um, understanding of other cultures, and of course it can help you prepare for an international career. Duke Kunshan University uh, is the answer to a university that will help um, just train these global leaders. So Duke Kunshan is a research-oriented liberal arts and sciences university. And it's for students who really wanna make a meaningful difference in the world. And here I have a picture of just your first glimpse of campus. It probably looks a lot different than many other campuses that of um, schools that you might've toured in the United States, such as University of Illinois, which has the big grassy quad in the center. As you can see, Duke Kwan Chan has water in the middle of our campus. It's this beautiful water feature. And featured here is our beautiful water pavilion building and then other dorms and academic buildings. And this is a great aerial shot of the campus. So you do see that Duke Kunshan has the name Duke in its name. And yes, we are a partnership with Duke University in North Carolina. As you may know, Duke University is consistently ranked one of the top universities in the world, and it's consistently ranked a top 15 U.S. college, according to U.S. News and World Report. As a Duke Kunshan student, you have the opportunity to study on two campuses in two countries. You would go away to college in China and um, study on our Kunshan campus for most of your undergraduate degree, but you would be guaranteed to spend at least one semester on the Duke University campus in North Carolina. And here we have a beautiful shot of the, the Duke campus with its gorgeous Gothic architecture and forests surrounding it. And as a Duke Kunshan student, you would earn two bachelor's degrees. You would earn one international degree that is, um, is honored by the Chinese Ministry of Education. And then you would also earn a regular Duke University degree. This is amazing because you would join two alumni networks, two very powerful alumni networks. And the Duke's alumni network already has 170,000 members. And we have not yet graduated any students from Duke Kunshan as we just opened up for undergraduates in 2018. But um, at, as soon as we um, graduate our first class, of course you would be able to continue to network with your classmates from all over the world that you studied with in Kunshan. 
So we like to say that Duke Kunshan is your gateway to Asia and the rest of the world. So if you're in this session because you're looking to leave Illinois and more specifically leave the United States for college and really explore the world, this is the place for you. So as you can see, we're very close to a lot of other incredible global locations. In the same amount of time that it would take you from fly, to fly from Chicago to New York, you could be in South Korea, in Seoul, just about three and a half hours to Tokyo and Japan. And then our students even love to do things like fly to um, Thailand or Bali for a long weekend. So Duke Kunshan truly is your gateway to Asia and exploring the world. We also have a very strategic location within China. So we are very close to Shanghai. So to physically arrive at the Duke Kunshan campus, you would fly into the Shanghai Pudong Airport. And then um, you can take a high speed train um, it, that is about a 20 minute ride from Kunshan, uh, I'm sorry, from Shanghai to the Kunshan station. We're also very close to another really beautiful city called Suzhou. And why Kunshan specifically? Why did Duke University and the Ministry of Education in China decide to come together and build this brand new university in Kunshan? Well, Kunshan is a hub for high tech research and manufacturing. A lot of entrepreneurs and tech companies like to make their headquarters in Kunshan. You might even liken it to a place like Silicon Valley in California. As I said before, it's an easy high speed train ride to both Shanghai and Suzhou. And in China, it is considered a small city of only 1.7 million. So um, uh, zooming out a bit, do, uh, Kunshan is located within Jiangsu province. Jiangsu province is one of the wealthiest and greenest provinces in China. And very close to the campus, um, there are these beautiful ancient Chinese water towns, as you can see. Um, and this is a way for you to really um, explore um, the oldest civilization in history. So you have the best of both worlds. You're in a a super modern, um, futuristic, a modern Chinese city, but also you're so close to these other really picturesque and beautiful Chinese water towns where they actually ride in gondolas um, instead of um, taking cars down the street. They have these waterways. Here is a beautiful picture of Shanghai's skyline. And let me tell you, I, as, a, as a native Chicagoan, I'm very, very proud of Chicago's skyscrapers. But I have to tell you that um, any city in the world that I've traveled to cannot compare to how dazzling Shanghai's skyline is, especially here. This is called the Bund. And then, of course, on the other side of the coin, as a Duke Kunshan student, you would study at Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. Durham, North Carolina is also a wonderful hub for research and technology. Of course, it has amazing educational institutions such as Duke, University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, which is the nation's oldest public university. And there's a large research firm called Research Triangle International that holds a lot of really important um, research contracts with um, places like the, the Gates Foundation. And also, it's just a beautiful place to be. Here it is featured in fall with the Gothic architecture. It's about four hours from Washington, DC and about a one hour, train, uh, one hour plane trip to New York City. So it really is a wonderful place to um, get to know the East Coast of the United States. And then of course, you're earning a degree from a very prestigious institution. So Duke Kunshan University has an incredibly engaging academic environment. One of the most popular questions I get asked is, can I attend Duke Kunshan even if I don't speak Chinese? The answer is yes. All of our classes are taught in English. Um, we do require Mandarin language study once you are a Duke Kunshan student. You will take two years of it. And if you have already studied Mandarin in high school, you can take a proficiency test and place into a higher level to continue your Mandarin study.
we have a very small student body at this point as we only have freshmen, sophomores, and juniors on campus. But this is a huge advantage because you have a very personalized learning environment. We have discussion-based classrooms and also we feature um, total academic freedom, which means that as a Duke Kunshan student, you will have free and access and open access to the internet. So I'm sure maybe some of you are familiar with what is called the Great Firewall in China, which is China's um, internet restrictions. But as a Duke Kunshan student, you would be able to bypass this through a, a university sponsored VPN and anything that you would be able to access on the Duke University Library in North Carolina, you will be able to access from um, the Duke Kunshan campus. Another hallmark of Duke Kunshan is our exceptional faculty. We select professors from Duke, China, and then um, from other countries around the world, we really find the top experts in their fields. And even though they are top experts in their fields, they are committed to um, mentoring you as a student. So they know that Duke Kunshan is currently a very small school and they've chosen to teach in that kind of environment. The current student to faculty ratio is seven to one. So this is very different from maybe attending a large Big Ten school where you're sitting in a huge lecture hall with tons of other students. This is incredibly personalized where you get to know your fellow classmates and your professors and they really care about you. It's also not unusual for our professors to do things like invite students from their classes over to their apartments for dinner. So that's just the type of atmosphere that um, the faculty cultivate at Duke Kunshan. So another very unique hallmark of Duke Kunshan is that we have a unique course schedule. So I'm sure that many of you watching this have, you know, you know your academic schedule to be Monday through Friday. You go to school Monday through Friday. But at Duke Kunshan, we only have classes in the classroom Monday through Thursdays. So we call it a 4-1 academic week. That means that you have Fridays free to pursue learning outside of the classroom, whether that is going into Shanghai, um, maybe um, exploring one of those water towns that I showed you. Um, maybe you wanna travel in Asia and take a long weekend or pursue an internship or just catch up on studying. So that is one of our really unique features. We also have an innovative semester schedule. And as a Duke Kunshan student, you would still go away to college in August, return in December for holiday break, go back in January and um, be on campus through May. But within that, we have smaller, shorter academic sessions. So within the length of a normal semester, um, you will have two seven week sessions. And within each of those sessions, you will take two to three classes at once. So instead of taking four to five classes, juggling all of these classes throughout a longer semester, you're able to really concentrate in on what you're learning within those mini sessions. We're also incredibly research focused. So before we started offering undergraduate programs at Duke Kunshan, we actually were offering graduate degrees in um, global health and environmental science. So we have multiple research institutes associated. We have the Environmental Science Research Institute, the Global Health Institute, we have a Center for the Study of Contemporary China, a Humanities Research Institute, and our students already have taken advantage of these um, research hubs. So 20% of our current undergraduates have participated in research with a professor, and they truly are addressing critical current issues. One of our students this summer was actually interning with a global health professor and looking at um, uh, maternal and infant outcomes from COVID-19. One was working with the um, Environmental Science Research Institute to look at air quality emissions in China. So research is one of the ways that our students truly do address and find solutions to those critical issues. 
We also have a program called the Signature Work Program. And this means that um, beginning in your junior year, you would work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member to develop an outcomes-based project that you will have to show for yourself when you graduate. You can then show that to future graduate schools or employers. An example of this might be um, a student coming up with a research question in their field and then conducting research, field research under the professor and then preparing the outcomes. So we have three academic divisions and we are an interdisciplinary university. So we have natural sciences, social sciences, and arts and humanities. Keep in mind that because we are an interdisciplinary school, your first two years, you will take a mixture of classes from all of those divisions. Um, and then you will only have to declare your major at the end of your sophomore year. And here is a list of all of our current academic majors and their interdisciplinary tracks. So for a major, you will choose one of the um, underlined that you see here, and then you'll focus in on one of the bullet points, which is one of your tracks. So for example, let's say that you're really interested in studying political science. That means that you would select the political economy major. You would, of course, to give you some context, take some classes in economics and public policy, but you would take the most classes in political science. So Duke Kunshan has really impressive facilities. Um, we have everything that you need to, um, to conduct your research and to learn in the best way possible. We have teaching research and in artificial intelligence labs, and then of course, independent and group study spaces. This photo here on the bottom features one of our newest buildings, which is called the Innovation Building, which has excellent facilities for student research. So as a Duke Kunshan student, we have so many other supports and services in place um, to help you acclimate to college life. We have undergraduate advising, career services, counseling and psychological services, of course, residence life staff. Um, we have athletics that you can participate in and then lots of different clubs and organizations. So residence life. 100% of all of Duke Kunshan students live on campus. And we do help with roommate matching. Um, and I would say that um, living within um, the school sponsored housing is one of the best ways to make lifelong friends. So it's a big hub for socializing. There are leadership opportunities. So if you would like to become a resident assistant, you can apply to do that as well. We have three different types of student housing. So one of them is um, a type that you may be familiar with as you tour universities in the United States. These are kind of your standard dorms, even though honestly, I have never <laughs> seen dorms in the United States that are, that are as modern and spacious and beautiful as our dorms. So in that scenario, you would have one roommate and then you would share a bathroom with the rest of the two person rooms from the hallway. Our second type of housing is our suite style housing. And that means that you would have a single room, but it would be attached to um, a unit that would house uh, one or two other single rooms for students. And then you would share a bathroom with those students and then also a common living and study area as pictured here. Um, imagine living in um, a condo style housing as an undergraduate. We also have housing for upperclassmen that is near campus. So as I said, we only started for undergraduates in fall of 2018. So our class size is expanding faster than the building of our second phase of construction is. So we've actually opened up space in a local luxury hotel for upperclassmen to live. It's called the Scholars Hotel. It's in Kunshan. It's very close to the Duke Kunshan campus. And we run shuttles back and forth between the hotel and campus all day long. So imagine yourself again, this is pretty rare as an undergraduate to be living in a luxury hotel in China. We also have um, dining halls and cafes and coffee shops on campus. 
So again, we have everything that you need um, to have a really wonderful lifestyle as a college student. So you may be wondering what, um, what is there to do on campus other than academics? So the answer is we have over 40 clubs and organizations. And these range from things like language club to fencing, you name it, our students have started a club. Also keep in mind that because we are a new university, if you do not see a club listed that you're interested in, it's very easy to work with our student affairs office and implement that club on campus so that you can participate in it and then it will be an established club for years to come for future Duke and John students. Um, one of the most exciting programs, I think, that Duke Kunshan Student Affairs Office offers is something called DKU Quest. And this is a school, these are school sponsored trips to World Heritage sites throughout China. So this means that as a Duke Kunshan student, you could have a school sponsored trip one weekend to places like the Great Wall of China. Here are some of our students pictured in Tibet. Um, so it's a really great way to um, explore and truly have an adventure. So for those of you interested in athletics, we also have options. Um, for you, we have physical education classes, we have a beautiful fitness center that overlooks our beautiful lake here, personal training, um, lots of equipment rental, etc. And then we also have a number of intramural sports. I would say the most popular intramural sports on campus are probably soccer and basketball. But again, just like the clubs, if there's a sport that you're interested in that isn't currently offered, go straight to our director of um, athletics and work with him and he will help you get it off the ground. And so I've showed you the campus, what, it, what your dorm would be like, but you may be wondering, you know, what is there to do if I wanna go off campus? And the answer is obviously you're very close to Shanghai and downtown Kunshan and Suzhou. So those are all options. But if you wanna stay super local, um, Kunshan is actually in large stages of development given the fact that they've just started the university there. So they recently built a European style shopping village um, pictured here. It is called Dayu Bay and they have great restaurants and coffee shops and sometimes they even have fireworks over the bay here. Also within Dayu Bay is the Blue Oasis, which is the student center. And this is where students can go and hang out and study. Um, sometimes they have events there, concerts, etc. And then in the top right here, I'm just showing you kind of an average run of the mill mall in China, which of course looks um, totally uh, beyond the wildest dreams of American malls at this point. So you can hop into a Didi, which is like um, the equivalent of an Uber in China and go to the mall with your friends and just get there in a couple of minutes, maybe go out to dinner. Um, a lot of our students really love to go out and sing karaoke together. So there's a lot you can do off campus. We also have wonderful undergraduate advising for you. We have tutoring, academic mentoring, of course, I mentioned the signature project advising. And then if you're looking to go into maybe medicine or law or another professional school, our academic advising counselors can help you chart your path so that you can reach your goals. We also have a really incredible career services office. Um, so they offer career counseling, job search training, internship resources. They actually host an internship fair on campus where they bring employers that are specifically looking to hire to Kunshan students. Friday career tracks where you could go to a local company and shadow um, one of their employees and other corporate networking events. And I must say that already our students have um, landed some really impressive internships. So here on the right here, we have one of our current students from Kazakhstan who's interning at Ernst & Young. I know other students have um, interned at um, prestigious consulting firms like McKinsey. 
Um, one student had interned at Shanghai Disney. And then my favorite is um, one of our students who interned with the Chinese Academy of Natural Sciences, which is probably similar, a uh, Chinese equivalent of maybe the Smithsonian in Washington, DC. And he was working on cataloging ancient fossils. So as you can see, um, whatever your interest is, the Duke Kunshan Career Services Office can help you find the best opportunity. So we all know that transitioning to college can definitely be, um, you know, a time when you might need some extra support. So we have counseling and psychological services available for our students. We have individual counseling, workshops, support groups, and um, even pictured here, sometimes they do things like bring in therapy puppies on campus during finals to help students de-stress. So I've been giving you a lot of information and I just wanted to stop and share from our current students. And um, I wanted to share why they chose DKU specifically. So here on the left, we have our student Peter. He's from actually from North Carolina. And he was actually interning um, in a research lab at Duke University. And that's where he found out about Duke's new partnership with China. And he applied and chose to attend Duke Kunshan because of the sense of adventure from the students that I've mentioned before. And then also that sense of helpfulness from the faculty. Pictured on the right here is one of our current students, Reika from Japan, and she chose DKU because she wanted to pursue global health from different perspectives within a unique liberal arts program. She also said that DKU provides an international experience with a tight community of students and faculty that no other university could provide. So we have an incredibly diverse student body. We have students, they hold over 50 nationalities and they come from over six continents. And what are those students like qualitatively? What are we looking for? Obviously, we're looking for students who are very open minded and, as I said, adventurous, who are willing to um, attend a brand new university on another continent. Students who are independent thinkers, who are really accomplished and high achieving academically, and then highly engaged and fascinated with China and the rest of the world. More specifically, I'm going to give you some statistics about our class of 2024 student profile that we just welcomed. And we had um, almost 3,500 applicants, but we had a highly selective acceptance rate at 17%. Uh, this year, I wanna let you know that we are test optional for standardized tests due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But just to give you an idea of where the bar is set for students um, that we've admitted before the pandemic, when we looked at test scores, the middle 50% of the SAT for admitted students um, was between a 1410 and a 1510. And then for the ACT, which I know that a lot of students in the Midwest take, I remember I took personally, the middle 50% is between a 32 and a 34. Um, the average um, uh, GPA for accepted students was a 3.9 out of 4. So as you can see, we have a very um, high achieving accepted student body. Also, our accepted students are very globally minded and oriented. Over 80% of our students speak two or more languages, and then almost 50% of them speak three or more languages. As I said before, we have students from all over the globe, from, over, from six continents and from over 30 countries. Um, so literally, we are looking for the best fit students from every corner of the globe. We have been seeing a lot of interest from places like Morocco, Kazakhstan, Latin America. And the breakdown of our student body is that 70% of our students are from China and the other 30% of students who are not Chinese are considered international students. 
So we look for students all over the United States. We actually have several students from the Chicago area who have matriculated. One, I believe she went to Oak Park River Forest High School. Um, and then we have students, as I said, from Asia, Africa, Europe, Latin America, and the Middle East. Another huge aspect of researching colleges is looking at the costs and scholarships. So here I'm sharing the current um, tuition. So the current tuition is similar to what is set for Duke University. It is 55, approximately 55,000 US dollars per year. We do offer scholarships up to and including full tuition for qualified applicants. But keep in mind that if you are to, if you were to attend Duke Kunshan, you would want to be able to set the expectation that you and your family should be able to cost other expenses as associated with um, with attending university abroad. So you would want to be able to pay for your living expenses, um, such as your housing on campus, food, travel back and forth from China, books health insurance, and then just related fees. So we estimate that the total cost of attendance for um, attending one year at Duke Kunshan is around 76,000 US dollars. Now, I want to assure you that very few students pay that full amount. All of our applicants are automatically considered for merit-based aid just on their regular application for admission. 80% of our incoming students receive some sort of financial aid, and it's um, a combination of those merit-based scholarships. And then we also do offer need-based scholarships for families based on their economic need. And to be considered for those, you would want to fill out the CSS profile. As I said, again, 80% of international students do receive some sort of aid. So I can assure you that we are very passionate about making Duke Kunshan University a possibility for students um, from all backgrounds. One of the other most exciting things about the Duke Kunshan admissions experience is that we have something called International Admitted Student Experience every April. So for all of our students that have been admitted into the university in late April, but before May 1st, which is the decision deadline, um, we historically have invited our students to the Duke Kunshan campus. So in 2018 and 2019, we flew in students from all over the world who had been admitted and we, we paid for travel expenses and then for all expenses um, during the experience. And these students were able to obviously experience a be physically on the Duke Kunshan campus. They are able to connect with professors and future classmates, attend sample classes, and then explore the local area as well. For spring 2020, because of the global pandemic, we did move this experience online, so it was virtual, but we are very much hoping that travel restrictions will lift and allow us to um, offer the same in-person experience for um, our incoming um, admitted students for this year. So I've given you a lot of information at this point. And here I just like to pause and again show you these two gorgeous pictures of the two campuses that you would study at for your Duke Kunshan experience. On the left here, the beautiful um, Duke University with the beautiful Duke Chapel. And then on the right here, the beautiful Duke Kunshan campus with our really majestic water pavilion building and our gorgeous lake in the center of campus. So if you remember anything from this presentation, I'd like you to remember that as a Duke Kunshan student, you have the opportunity to study on both of these amazing campuses. You're studying in two countries, China and the United States, and you're earning two degrees, one from Duke Kunshan and one from Duke University. 
Also, I wanted to share with you some photos of our current students and what they've been experiencing as Duke Kunshan students. As you can see, they love exploring China, um, going into Shanghai, exploring the cuisine, and then traveling to other parts of Asia. Here is a picture of one of our students um, from Massachusetts who took advantage of the, um, the shortened academic week to travel to Bali on a weekend. So Duke Kunshan is, truly a place where you can learn and explore and truly have an adventure for college. So if all of those pictures have made you really excited about the possibility of studying in China for college, we invite you to apply via our common application. We um, require similar things that other schools do for the common application. We do have a couple of required essays we require the school report and high school transcripts and counselor and teacher recommendations. We again, we are test optional for standardized tests for this current admission cycle. Our applications are currently open. We have two decision deadlines. One of them is November 2nd, and that's for early decision. And that is um, a great choice if you are 100% sure that Duke Kunshan is absolutely the place for you. And if you are admitted, you commit to attending. So it is a binding decision. And then we have January 4th, which is our regular decision deadline. And um, that's a great option if you're looking at a bunch of options and um, you want to be able to, um, you know, put your application in, see if you're admitted, but then also kind of compare it to other offers from other schools that you've received. Another great next step is to tour campus virtually with one of our current students. So if you would like to do that, you can take out your phone with the camera function and hover over this QR code. It will take you right to our registration page so that you can um, see more details of the campus and speak with a current student. I like to end on this slide because this is a picture of our spring 2019 admitted student experience. And in this picture are all of the amazing students from all over the world that we accepted into Duke Kunshan standing on our water pavilion here. And I just end on this um, to help you understand again what an incredibly global university we are. And we really hope to have you join us. You can follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, I personally recommend our YouTube channel. We have a lot of great day in the life videos that current students made. You can also email us at internationaladmissions at dukekunshan.edu.cn. Thank you so much for attending, and um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Lori, thank you so much for a great presentation. Uh, everyone, again, thank you so much. Uh, again, the session was recorded, so if you um, want to reach out to Lori after, Lori after this um, or have any questions or want to watch the presentation again, you're more than welcome. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Thank you.